All right, so the dentist office tank has been up and running here for a couple weeks. I've had to suck out a lot of sand along the bottom here because the engineer goby keeps building it up. Uh, now I just turned the lights back on to uh, all the lights on, so some things might be closed up. It was just the actinics and they were ready to go out. So here's kind of a left to right. Um, here you got Scooter Blenny who loves having a scrubber in the tank. Hey. Um, yellow polyps. Uh, we've got the cabbage leather over here, just loves it. The, um, the Acan, not looking the greatest right now, but he's looking pretty good actually. Uh, that's because the lights were coming off. These uh, polyzoas, just going crazy. You can see the red cap. Now this thing has got such huge white tips on it. It has at least gotten a half an inch larger since I put it back in the tank. Uh, green digitata. Again, a broken off piece right there. This guy fell over, so he's kind of they're kind of on each other. But he's looking good. He looks like he's actually splitting. The uh, um, flower anemone looking good. The tricolor velita. His tips are coming out like crazy. Uh, get another cabbage behind it. Now the the orange clowns have been hosting on the mushrooms. Scopus tang, Aptasia. Got some. Uh, oh yeah, the Recordia there. Are actually uh, one of them looks like it's about ready to split. It's actually you can see it splitting right there. Eh, foggy. Uh, this guy's feelers are not out. Uh, there's some more. Uh, red cap back there. Now I haven't cleaned the glass, so it's a little. It's been a three-day weekend, and everybody's been gone. Uh, blue and green ricks. We got the uh, war coral is getting some more eyes already. Now these two frog spawns. The one on the right was how the one on the left looked a week ago, so they're really opening up. Uh, and then that back there, which I can never remember the name of, is just going huge, nuts. More mushrooms, more mushrooms. Colt, green star is really not opened up and I really could care less about that. These zoas right here are open for the first time. Of course, those are some uh, yellow polyps kind of smothering them, but more yellow polyps. Dendro, this guy has been, he looks kind of sad actually, but he keeps getting covered up with sand. Um, the plate coral does. And and I, I have uh, taken out you know, sand was up to here, all the way across. This guy was buried, that guy was buried, that guy was buried, that guy was buried. Engineer Goby does that. But you can see there's a blue-green chromie back there. Clownfish kind of looking for a home. I think I need to find him an anemone. I'm sure you've seen the blue tang around here. He loves it. There's his tail. There's the Engineer Goby. He's the one responsible for all the sand movement. Flame fin tang back there. Blue tang. Fish also like to hang out in the corner back here and splash water all over the place, which is why you got these streaks down the back of the tank. If we had to do it over again, I'd make this tank about another inch bigger and leave the same water level. But uh, other than that, the bean animal overflow is working nicely, right where it should be, halfway up the uh, open channel. Plastic canvas in there to kind of break the fall of the water because it is a lot of flow. 3,000 gallons an hour, right about. And now I'll continue the next video on this.